Today we're going to talk about section 7.2, solving and writing addition equations. You guys kind of did this last section, but this time we're writing them. We're going to deal with inverse operations. We have to know this vocabulary term. An inverse is the opposite of something else. The opposite of addition would be subtraction, and therefore the opposite of subtraction would be addition. The opposite of division would be multiplication. The opposite of multiplication, multiplication would be division. We're also going to look at the subtraction property of equality, and we'll talk about that when we get there. First, we're going to check out algebra blocks. So with the algebra blocks, we're going to use yellow as our variable, and green as our unit. We're going to try to solve this problem. x plus 3 equals 11. You might say, well, I can use guess and check, or I can just think of a number using mental math. But sometimes we won't, because the numbers will be bigger. We're just going to use this to help us out. 1x plus 3 equals 11. So we have to get 11. We need to isolate the variable. The variable is over here on the left side. Isolate means I want to get it all by itself. How do I get this all by itself? I have to remove these three. If I remove three from the left side of the equation, we have to move, remove three from the right side of the equation. Remember the sides of the equation are separated by an equal sign. So we've subtracted three from both sides, and what's left at the end? We have equals all these pieces down here. Now we're going to have x equals counting these pieces 8. So now that we've had some practice with algebra blocks, we're going to practice doing these by hand. x plus 5 equals 11. Where is our variable at? It's over here on the left side of the equation. Remember, we need to isolate that. We need to get it by itself. What did we say the inverse of addition was? Subtraction. Let's subtract 5. And always think to yourself, if we do it on one side of the equation, we have to do it to the other side. 5 minus 5 is 0. The x will stay there. X is not subtracting anything. Equals 11 minus 5 is 6. We know from the identity property of addition that x plus 0, we can just write that as x. Therefore, x equals 6. Sometimes students say, well, where are both sides of the equation? One way to help you identify both sides of the equation is draw a dashed line vertically down the equal sign. Then we know for sure that this is the left side of the equation and this is the right side. Our variable here is also on the left, m plus 14. I'm thinking what's the inverse of plus 14, and that's minus 14. So we're going to subtract 14 from both sides. 14 minus 14 is 0. We can look back at the problem we did before, too. Or we can just say, well, that's 0, so I'll just write m. m equals 83 minus 14. If you have to borrow or carry, you can do that all right here. Everything is set up vertically for you. m equals 69. Remember, circle, box in, star, squiggly lines, however you want to mark your answer on there. We're going to look at a word problem now. Elliot is 63 inches tall, which is 9 inches taller than his cousin Jackson. Write and solve an addition equation to find Jackson's height. Notice that the important information was highlighted. We have 63 is, remember that means 63 equals. Then we have 9 inches taller. That means we're going to have plus 9. We also have Jackson's height. It's not told to us, so, so that's our unknown or our variable. You can use j like I did, 
or you can use x, m, c, whatever variable you'd like to use. When we write the equation, we have to put all of these together. 63 is Jackson's height plus 9, or 63 is j plus 9. When we solve this, we're looking at the right side of the equation, and we notice that we have a plus 9. The inverse of plus 9 is minus 9, so we're going to subtract 9 from both sides of the equation. When we get this, we have 54 equals j. But we're not quite done, because the problem said, what is Jackson's height? So since we have a word problem, let's go one step further. We can use these three little dots. These three little dots in math mean therefore. Therefore, Jackson is 54 inches tall. What I want you to do at this point, you're probably saying, Mr. Brackovich, where was that subtraction property of equality? We did it, but I want you to define it in your own words. We did that over here when we did minus 5 and minus 5. We also did it over here when we did minus 14 and minus 14. Finally, we did it right here when we did minus 9 and minus 9. I want you to write the subtraction property of equality in your own words.